boots on the ground, putting it down. Get up, get up, get up. I got something to tell you. I don't think they want you to know, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Special researcher Mickey D, I host The Scoop. I want to thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be on your electronic device, a.k.a. the Baby Knockout Goat. What are Baby Knockouts? They're those little micro cap companies that we discover in uh, upcoming or beaten down markets uh, that have the ability to take out the competition and be number one in that sector, in that area. We go back to the dot-coms, guys, to uh, trading AOL at a quarter and uh, Cisco Systems at 10 cents and all that stuff and getting these, these guys and making uh, huge uh, uh, amounts of money on them. We did exceptionally well. But it's Scoops for your education, your entertainment, your information only. I'm not a stockbroker, not a money manager, not a financial advisor. I'm an author. I'm a researcher, guys. You can find my books on Amazon.com. You can get the audiobook, paperback book, or the ebooks. We have books right now on lithium. We're one of the few companies out there with lithium, re research companies with lithium and uh, uranium. We put this trade together over four years ago, guys, and we are on top of these companies. Got some big news for you, though, guys. We've got big news here. We got some emergency action from the United States, from the White House to the Congress, and they're trying to get some money, guys, for enriched uranium. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, also, uh, there's 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 some some action uh, when it comes to permits in the uh, United States. Uh, there's a couple con uh, couple senators that are trying to get this. These, this permit situation under control. And I know a little bit about the permit uh, situation when it comes to the mining claims, because after all, it was a long time ago that I wrote a little book about it. And uh, people uh, uh, really uh, seem to uh, enjoy the program and get involved with the program. But uh, like anything else, they took it and made something uh, of it that it really wasn't. But uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. Then we're going to take a look at some, some uh, I'm going to show you some charts. And we didn't have a bad week. Overall, it was a decent week, guys, for us in our uranium and our lithium sector right now that we're focusing on. Um, it wasn't a good week for the overall market because the stocks were down, uh, uh, the queues were down the whole, whole week. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Guys, there's a newsletter out there for you. You uh, the latest newsletter. Check your email box and, and get those. There's a lot of great information in there, especially when it comes to our baby knockouts. We're right in the right position. We're staying the course, and we're gonna do what do what we do, guys, because we're right there on the doorstep right now, and and things are happening, and it's gonna be a a, a great great trade. Did answer some questions for you guys. Uh, you know if you you have any more questions, put them in the uh, comments area there. You know, they're trying to rip people off and do different things. You know, use your own discretion. You know, if I'm, I don't ask you for money uh, or anything in there and tell you I'm going to trade for you or send me this or that, you know, I, I don't do that. There's guys that look like, you know, Mickey, uh, Mickey D and it said Mickey D and I'm saying, well, how do I get rid of this, man? He's asking for something, you know, and that's not me. So, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the social media does the, as good a job as they can do, but sometimes you just got to weed out out those those people, my friends. But it's it's all good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's all good. Um, we are going to squeeze up bull, and we're going to do uh, very very well. Uh, we may have some dot com returns, like I was saying. You guys will know when we're having dot. Com. We'll know because stocks will go up uh, big. Stocks will go up $10, $15, $20, $30 in one day. You know, it's not this 10, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 50 cents. But if you are day trading and you are swinging some of these stocks, you are doing very, very well. So, uh, you know, uh, day traders, uh, 75 cents, that's a good, uh, that's a good uh, amount of money that you can work with. You know, um, 50 cents and stuff. Stuff like that. If you're day trading this stuff, guys, you're doing uh, doing really, really well if you get a few trades in here and there. But we bought early and we're holding. There's no need when you buy a bought Paladin at two, three, and five cents and uh, it just let it go up. Just let this let this thing play out. That's what we're going to do. But let me uh, let me get some things to you guys here that uh, I, information I wanted here, let you know what's happening. We'll look at some charts here in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been widely reported that the uh, Biden administration here 
has put in an emergency request uh, seeking uh, energy disaster spending. Now, this is political. This is George here. Money will go towards securing non-Russian uranium and upgrading the nation's oil stockpile. Uh, the Biden administration is asking Congress for billions of dollars in new emergency spending that will go toward strategic petroleum reserve, buying domestic uranium for uh, nuclear reactors, and responding to natural disasters. Now, the uh, Office of uh, uh, Budget, the Office of uh, Management and Budget, uh, today sent the Capitol Hill forty-seven billion dollar request for money. It is, uh, this is this is money, guys, that will be included in the stopgap spending legislation Congress needs to pass by the end of the month. So that's, you know, we're talking war money, talking $13.7 billion, Ukraine war, billions for COVID, uh, a pandemic, and, and monkeypox. And, and so it's going to be out there. Uh, as part of the uh, Ukraine request, the administration wants $1.5 billion for the Department of Energy to obtain non-Russian uh, uranium uh, for nuclear power plants. So that's out there, guys. Uh, we will definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, it's an emergency request. I think everybody sees the writing on the wall right now that uh, Russia is uh, sooner or later, uh, they're going to be cutting us off from enriched uranium. And it's going to happen uh, whether we like it or not. And we are just getting in position for that, which is a smart thing to do. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Small Caps is reporting that U.S. Mining permit review process may be shortened. Oh my, that definitely needs to be shortened a lot. Uh, a review of the U.S. mining reform aims to alleviate demands being placed on supply of certain commodities, specifically those required for the manufacturing of electric uh, vehicles. Uh, amen to that if they can get that done. Uh, in order to increase domestic production of minerals used in electric vehicles, United States Mining Corporation and automobile uh, automakers and members of Congress for both major political parties are advocating the federal government reduce the amount of time required to get a permit for a new mine. Uh, the request, which uh, was presented uh, this week, uh, uh, Committee to the Changes in the General Mining Law of 1872. Now, I know a little bit of something about that, guys, about that uh, 1872 uh, law here. Let me let me just uh, uh, turn around and talk to you a little bit about that. Ladies and gentlemen, the General Mining Law of 1872. I've been trying for the last 25, 30 years to get that changed, you see, because it's about, about 25, 20 years or so ago, I wrote Free Claims on Government Land, Claim Your Acres Now. Uh, this book right here was a best-selling book. It was Amazon.com, one of their first uh, big-selling books. But this book was misused. Uh, it was misused by a lot of people, including some politicians out there, uh, because the claims were, were for like uh, families. Uh, you weren't supposed to be building a house or building a hotel or this unless you were palming, you know, greasing the palms of politicians. This was supposed to be a, a mining claim program where you were supposed to go out and you were supposed to have your acres and you were supposed to do uh, some, you know, look for some gold, gold panning or what have you. But the, 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 it, there were industries uh, with this book. You may remember, some of you old school, old schoolers may remember, what, 30, 30 years ago, 20, 25 years ago or so, when uh, people were, were doing seminars and they were doing all these conferences and they were telling you how to get this free land in America and what you could do with it. And you could, some people were actually locked up because you could not do what they thought you could do with that land. And you chop, you know, they were tearing buildings down and everything. Uh, you may have seen the, the little ads. People were running, had their own little companies running ads, you know, about free government land and all that stuff. Uh, they got rid of all that stuff. But a lot of it, after uh, NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw, did a series on the fleecing of America, I believe is what it was called. And it was uh, uh, free claims on government land was, was controversial. And it's just a government program. And I just exposed the government program. That That's all. And, and it was out there. I didn't mean any harm or anything, guys. Just exposing it in a book. That's all. Let's take a look at some charts. 
before we look at some charts, let's finish up this article here. Uh, the request came in a time when the electric vehicle industry uh, in the country is coming under increased pressure to secure lithium, copper, and other minerals for domestic and uh, allied sources. Uh, yeah, everybody needs it, guys. Everybody needs it. The deadline for public responses uh, was this week. Uh, any changes would need to uh, consent of Congress and U.S. President uh, Biden. Um, what else here? You had uh, uh, Ford Company Chief uh, Government uh, of Affairs, Chris Smith. Uh, the lengthy, costly, and inefficient permitting process makes it uh, difficult for businesses to invest in the extraction and processing of critical minerals in the United States. You got that right. Uh, additionally, uh, Freeport, uh, Freeport McMoran, uh, the biggest copper producer in the United States, uh, Red Mill, including a list of minerals here that are deemed vital for the nation's security as well as the uh, economy. Uh, that's true. And you've got two uh, of uh, America's finest uh, senators. You have uh, Nevada Senator uh, Catherine Cortez Masto and along with Arizona Senator Mark Kelly have signed a bipartisan letter calling for more simplified procedures for obtaining mining permits. Uh, let's hope they can get this done, guys. Uh, since uh, uh, since uh, 2000, uh, Lithium Americas Corporation and Rio Tinto have been uh, working on plans to build mines in the state of Nevada and the state of Arizona, respectively. Now, since the early 2000s, I mean, guys, we're 2022, going to be 2023 here, and uh, they're nowhere uh, even, they're not there yet. So there's a lot of others with this article. Let's take a look at some charts, though. Uh, the bottom line is the mining permit review uh, process is in uh, uh, order right now, guys. You know, you either change by desperation or, or inspiration. I think there's a little bit of both here. Uh, the government is uh, inspired and the government is somewhat desperate when it comes to uh, getting this mining situation taken care of. Because let's face it, guys, we need we need all these minerals. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a quick look at the charts here, starting with Q's, QQQ. Uh, we do have the Q's uh, falling. They kind of fell the entire week here. We've been using the 13-day moving average crossing over the 48-day moving average. I don't mind if you use the 50. This is We had a buy signal uh, in late uh, July, and we, you know, we've been riding that up, but it looks like the Q's are... Uh, in the position to fail. What about our leader, Cameco here? Uh, Cameco, I kind of gave a lesson on how to pronounce it, huh? The last video, you guys see that? Uh, there we, we have the 48-day uh, uh, moving average here, and we have the 13-day moving, over 13-day moving average above. Uh, Cameco's uh, buy all day, guys. Uh, let's see how it, it goes. Hey, you know what? It would be nice if this late July buy signal would last a couple years. Wouldn't it be nice? What about uh, energy fuels here? Uh, energy fuels with the buy signal here, late July. Uh, it's it's uh, trading very, very uh, well, guys. Uh, up over, uh, uh, doing doing well. It's up over $7, uh, almost $8 uh, here uh, lately. Uh, it has done just uh, extremely, extremely well. Uh, we definitely like it. That's one of my uh, biggest holdings here is uh, energy fuels. And uh, for the record, guys, uh, Cameco, back to Cameco, uh, this week it was up 8% uh, this week. And uh, let's go uh, from energy fuels. Let's go over to uh, uh, uranium uh, energy here. Uranium energy. Uh, we had to buy uranium energy. It's been doing a lot of work out there. The uh, staff there, management staff, it's up over uh, four dollars here. We expect energy uh, fuels this baby knockout. We expect it to do very, uh, very well. Uh, it was up, uh, was up roughly uh, a little over five percent this week. While the general market, the Qs uh, were down uh, like four or five percent. The general market guys. Uh, next gen. Uh, we expect next gen. It was up three and a half percent this week. Uh, we expect it to uh, bounce back. Also, you can see it's a buy. It came at the same time. It's doing doing fairly well. Uh, Peninsula uh, Energy. 
Uh, we expect Peninsula to do uh, well also. Peninsula may be one of those. We don't, we're not sure. It may be one of those companies, though, that uh, uh, is in the uh, reserve uh, talk there with the United States uh, Reserve, uh, Uranium Reserve. We may know uh, some of those companies that are in there pretty soon. Uh, let's go on over to Africa. What about Global Atomic? Uh, we expect Global Atomic to be a real, real super home run here in uh, the uh, Africa uh, area there. Uh, it's going to do very, very well. Um, uh, right now, it's up. Uh, it was up uh, like uh, like five, six percent or so this week. It did very well uh, also this past week here. Uh, what about uh, Denison Mines? Uh, we anticipate Denison doing very, very well. Don't worry about Denison. It's going to uh, land on its feet. Uh, Denison uh, this week. Uh, also, uh, it was up a little bit. Also, it's, it's that's where up, you know, three, four, five, six percent or so. It wasn't. It wasn't really a breakout week or anything. Let's, let's go on over to uh, uh, lithium. What about Patriot Battery Metals? It's still doing its thing. Patriot, and I'm hearing from you guys. You guys were in Patriot early. Uh, it's. It was in the uh, book uh, investing in uh, lithium baby knockouts. Now I think it was about forty, forty five cents or so when we put it in the book. Uh, yeah, then uh, and uh, 15, 15 baby knockouts and in invest in lithium baby knockouts now and you have an additional ten in lithium penny stocks low risk high reward investing so these these lithium penny stocks guys are are really doing well uh, that's Lake Resources what about uh, Lake Resources that was Patriot Battery Metals what about Lake Resources uh, looks like it's uh, still above it's still a buy uh, Lake Resources uh, they had a management issue guys. And now they've got management on track. They'll have someone in there. Let's take a look at one one additional uh, one. What about UR Energy? Uh, one more uh, uranium stock. UR Energy's uh, doing well. Uh, guys, these stocks are doing well. We're coming up to a big, big, important uh, week and month and next 60 days or so. We'll see how these things do. We anticipate, uh, you know, with, with these uh, conversion and, and enrichment prices, everything going up. In the uh, fuel cycle, we expect uh, these stocks to do uh, very, very well uh, in due time. Once again, take a look at your newsletter. It's out. Got the baby knockouts in there, guys. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family. Have a wonderful, wonderful Memorial, <laughs> Memorial Day, Labor Day weekend, guys. Labor Day weekend. It's about labor. Love you. God bless you. Take care of you and your family.